Two methods are available, spray freezing and contact freezing. In spray freezing, there is no direct skin contact. The method makes use of the coolant in its liquid state. Therefore, the spray distance needs to be short as the liquid nitrogen starts evaporizing as soon as it leaves the spray tip. A distance of approximately 5 mm is ideal as it also provides the most precise spray. As standard, a CryoPro unit comes with a set of six spray tips covering a majority of applications. The apertures vary in size from A through D, D putting out the smallest amount of fluid. Simply choose a size which will freeze the lesion as quickly as possible, at the same time offering good control over the spray and the minimal damage to healthy skin surrounding the lesion. Spray freezing offers quick and efficient freezing, minimal preparation of the site to be treated and no cleaning of the tip as there is no skin contact. Attention to the lateral spreading is necessary. For contact freezing, a range of so-called contact probes is available from sharp pointed to 3 cm in diameter. All contact probes are equipped with a silicone tube directing the exhaust gas away from the patient. This method makes use of a supercooled metal tip which is pressed against the lesion. Moisturize the treatment site with a drop of gel or a cotton bud soaked in water. Then apply the probe while it is still warm without pulling the trigger. With the probe in place, pull the trigger. After a few seconds, the probe adheres to the skin, ensuring optimal skin contact and heat transfer. Keep freezing until a one millimeter frozen halo is seen around the probe. Then release the trigger and the probe will come off in a few seconds. This method ensures the quick freeze, slow thaw, leading to optimal tissue destruction. Contact freezing offers a deep freeze with minimal lateral spreading. The freezing time depends on the type of lesion as well as the operator's personal preferences. But 10 to 15 seconds of continuous freezing covers a broad spectrum of applications. Guidelines regarding freezing times and choice of spray or contact freezing can be found in the enclosed manual or in relevant literature.